Good morning people, I hope you're doing well. I just came back from Corsica holidays and I decided to take another week kind of off in Paris, kind of working but not too hard. I'm not teaching any yoga. I'm so orange. <laughs> I'm gonna try to set my camera there. <laughs> So today I'm doing another what to eat in a day as you saw in the title. Today is a chill day at home. I might work a little bit but not too hard. Uh, yeah, I just finished a workout and now I'm gonna make myself breakfast which probably is going to be a smoothie. This video is in collaboration with Blinkist. I'm so excited to have a partner for this video. Blinkist is an audio book platform and I'll talk to you about them later on in the video but for now it's time for breakfast so let's make it going to spare you the noise of my blender. This smoothie is the happiness smoothie that's included both in my ebook The Mindful Life and my 7 day smoothie guide that's entirely free. I'll put the link to download it in the description below. This smoothie I've made it over and over and over and over <laughs> again and it's still my top favorite one and it's totally nutritious and I'm just so happy. <laughs> Delicious. Coming home from grocery shopping this morning, I did about nothing. I edited just a few photos. I mean, I slept in, like I woke up late. I went grocery shopping because I'm gonna do dessert this afternoon and I'm excited. I'm gonna use apricots and mirabel. And now I'm gonna make myself some lunch. It's gonna be a big salad. I'm using fresh organic ingredients such as lettuce, cooked green beans, a big ripe tomato, leftover cucumber, and this black forest smoked tofu that we find here in France. For the sauce, I mix whole grain mustard with apple cider vinegar, soy yogurt. I use garlic powder, pepper, and curcuma powder. And this is a little trick I have for you. I love olive oil, but it can add up pretty quickly into your daily energy intake. As I'm trying to cut a bit on that, I prefer including whole olives that I chop and put it in. To be honest, it's never felt this good to be able to eat and make fresh meals. If you aren't following me on Instagram, you should by the way, but <laughs> I was sharing how hard it's been to stay vegan in Corsica and how I failed to stay healthy because of the lack of nutritious meals. So yeah, I'm just so happy to eat a salad. <laughs> Okay, so I'm about to make a little apricot and mirabelle. Unfortunately, I bought like so many mirabelles and they're not ripe. So I think I will probably do like an apricot tart. Um, and I made some gooey caramel. Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, super good. I think I'll post the recipe if it turns out great on my blog and so this is the perfect time for me to talk to you about Blinkist. So Blinkist is an audiobook app that I started using recently. Blinkist is not here to replace the pleasure of reading your favorite books. Rather, it's made for people who are eager to read but who don't have the time or the motivation to do so, which is exactly me. <laughs> I've bought many self-development books in the past because I love that kind of topic but I barely read them because I find them really hard to read and when I do have time, I'd rather read something funny or fiction or story. So yeah. Now the great thing about Blinkist is that it summarizes non-fiction books in less than 15 minutes so you really get the most of the book and your time. You can scroll through the app within different categories like communication, science, health, anything that interests you like finance and then you add the book to your library to hear or read it now or later. So I'm gonna do my DAW and right now I'm just gonna listen to brief answers to the big questions. 
One of my favorite ways to use the app is when I'm doing something brainless, like cutting veggies, meal prepping, or even doing the dishes. I like to take a few minutes to bullet point some notes I got from the book. I'm not too fussy about remembering everything. I believe that what I'm able to put on a paper after 15 minutes of multitasking is what I'll remember and take away anyways. I'll list a few of my favorite books I've been listening to in the description below, but I'm always really happy to hear suggestions, so if you have any, please let me know in the comments below. Now onto the good news for you. If you're curious and you want to try this app, Blinkist is offering you a free week of full membership as well as 25% off the membership if you decide to continue on. And this will only apply to the first 100 people to click the link below. You can of course cancel any time during the free trial. So even if you end up not subscribing, I really think it's worth trying out and read as much as you can during this week. Okie dokie, I'm ready to put it in the oven. You may think I was going to have a slice of it, but I actually didn't because I wanted to do more photos and the light was getting dark, so. Emily, what is this? This is like a mix of everything left over. Caramel, this little mousse, some yogurt, and it's delicious. For dinner, I had rice and dal left over, one of my favorite dinner ever. I'll put the recipe in the description below. And this is dinner, actually. Ta-da! So that concludes my what to eat in a day video, everything I ate today. If you have any video suggestions, please let me know in the comments. I would also really love to know if you are still enjoying as much what to eat in a day videos. I mean, they've been around for like years now and I love to make them. I love to show what I eat as a vegan, but I know that they can be quite boring, quite repetitive. So let me know what you think. And uh, yeah, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you very soon.